Hey, so after I'm done with building my fence entirely, I definitely want to cut off the tops because first thing, it doesn't look nice sticking out like that. And another thing, water will be sitting here on the top, making this post rotting right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a diagonal cut here on all four sides and create kind of a pyramid top. So the water will slide down easily from the top of this post. And the other option would be to cut it off flat and then put a cap over it. I would have to buy a cap separate, mount it on the top, and that way protect the top from water and rotting. So let's get it done. I made a jig out of two by four lumber basically, and it's gonna fit perfectly over my post. This is six by six post. You can do the same for four by four or four by six, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna slide it over. I'm gonna let it sit here and I'm gonna mount a few screws, one here and one here. And I'm gonna get a perfect guide for my circular saw. Once I start sliding the saw, what's gonna give me level and even cut on each of these four sides. Now my jig is not gonna be wobbly and it's not gonna move anywhere. Next step, I'm gonna use my circular saw. This is six and a half inches circular saw. So the blade is not long enough to get really deep into this post to cut it all the way. That's why I'm gonna make four cuts on each side and finish it off with the reciprocating saw. Ideally, you wanna have seven and a quarter inch blade to get really deep into this post and cut it off entirely on all four sides. But if you don't have it, that's fine. Reciprocating saw will finish it off. By the way, that limitation only applies for six by six inch post. If you are working with four by six or four by four inch post, you don't have to worry about it. It's gonna get the job done entirely. And to get that diagonal cut and pyramid top cut off on this post, I'm gonna adjust the angle on my circular saw to 25 degrees. So I'm gonna place my circular saw right here and I'm simply gonna slide it on the top of my two by four guide that we just made and mounted right here. All right, that's my cut. And you can see how we have a cut diagonally here on the side. So it did not go all the way down deep into the post, but doesn't matter. I have a reciprocating saw and I'm gonna get it done today. I have that cut completed on each of these four sides. And as I'm using six and a half inch circular saw, I'm gonna finish it off with my reciprocating saw. I definitely got it through the middle here and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other sides. All right, it came right off. And that's how to get a pyramid top on your fence post. Now the water will not be sitting on the top. It's nicely going to run away. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of these posts. And these are my pyramid top fence posts.